everyone, it's Presley at ActiveGames.com here, and today we are at a park, and we're going to try out some of the new sports equipment that we got at Target yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm super duper excited to go ahead and start. Or some practice for or me as baseball. Yep. You want to play baseball first? My, my dad used when he was a kid used to uh, and, uh, and play baseball. I did. <laughs> he played football too. Mm -hmm. You want to play? Did, some... did you play soccer? I didn't. Yeah. Not organized. Do you want to play? Uh, do you want to try baseball first, or you want to try soccer first? Mm. You want to kick the ball, or do you want to throw and catch and hit? I would do throw and catch and hit, and I'll go with hit. So I guess that's the bat. You want to go with hit first? Mm -hmm, so I'll go with bat. Okay. So let's go out there. So I'll throw you some balls. You need to drop the phone though. <laughs> Okay? You want to swing nice and flat. Like that. You want the bat to be like this. And then it comes around back on this side. Okay? And really what you want to do, like this hand, like this hand that you got right here, this is the one that you pull the bat through. Okay? So most of your swing, you can practice with one hand like this. Most of your swing comes from that one hand. Okay? This controls like up and down. Okay? So you're pulling with this hand, and this hand is kind of controlling where it's going to hit. Okay? So I want to do this one hand like this. So try that. Put it on your shoulder with just that one hand. So take your right hand off. Yep. And then try and swing through with just your left hand. So take your right hand off entirely. Put it down by your side. Okay. Yep. And then just swing through with that with the one hand. Okay. Yeah. As you're coming through there'll be a snap and that accelerates the end of the bat right and what is acceleration more acceleration makes more more force force yes. on the ball or more mass but that's not happening well the mass of the bat doesn't change right. but when you increase the acceleration during that wrist snap so this hand comes over the turn over. And it comes over. so you end up here ah. okay all right so just try with the left hand a little bit yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> you want to open your hips, right? You're here. You turn like you're going to run towards me almost. And you swing through. Yeah, but up here. Okay? Over your shoulder. I'm actually holding a baseball bat. Yeah, you're doing good. So, so step towards me. Open your hips towards me like you're going to start running towards me almost. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Watch the ball. Most important. Don't look away from the ball. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happens. <laughs> and I think I was wide enough to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought those videos were faked. <laughs>
how to play baseball. And I wasn't a very good baseball player. Especially when I started out, I got better, right? So take your glove off for a second. So let's assume you're both right-handed, although you're a little ambidextrous, but uh, so you throw with your right hand. So you want to have your right hand free so you can throw the ball, okay? So that means you wear your glove on your left hand, you catch with your left hand. Mm -hmm. So you're catching with your off hand. Oh, so it takes a little practice. Uh, yeah, you want to be, that's your thumb, so like that. So you'll throw with this hand, catch with this hand. So spread your fingers out. Yep. And so what you have to do also is because if you look at how the glove is designed, mm -hmm. take your hand down. So here's your thumb and here's your fingers and you want to catch the ball here in this pocket. It's called the pocket, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a whole science to getting the pocket ready. You sort of oil the glove up and put a ball in it and rubber band it together so it's perfectly shaped to hold a ball. There's a whole thing and you do the same thing. Take a Coke can, put your hat rubber band around it so it makes like this little shit. There's a whole southern thing. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. So what you want to do though is like if I was throwing you the ball and you were going to catch it with your left hand without your glove, like you were catching it with a glove, it would go through here. You wouldn't catch it. You would try and let it go between. It's kind of hard to do even to make yourself kind of let it go through that space. This is what I do. But that's what happens. Kind of cheat. When you, no. see, you, you want it to not hit your hand. <laughs> go between like that right and so I used to practice with Poppy mm -hmm. like he would throw me the ball and I would not catch it I would let it go through that space mm -hmm. to get me used to catching the ball with the glove right so that's that's you got to think about how you catch it let it go through that space right because you want to catch it in the pocket you don't want to catch it here in your palm because it'll hurt mm -hmm. like if you got a fast ball coming and you let it hit here where your hand is it's gonna hurt you mm -hmm. and so you want to be sure that you always catch it in that pocket mm -hmm. okay and then Cooper, this is a little advanced for you, but I'll give this to Appa. So I always thought one of my favorite lessons was when you're catching, like there's these weird spaces where you're not sure how to hold your hand, right? And so I kind of always think of it like a clock, so like this. So down here, you want to be like this. Turn, turn the wrist around. You don't want to break your arm. Right? So here, you want to be up, 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 up. And then here, you're down, 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 flip around. Up, 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 right? And then in here, you're kind of like this, like a windshield washer. So you don't want to be like this. That's a weird, you want to be like this, right? So you got to think about your hand positioning because you'll, if something comes right at your body, it can be really kind of weird. You end up doing like this to catch it when you should be just like this. Like if you're here, you catch it, you step and you throw. But if you're here, you're like, okay, now what the hell do I do, right? So you get in weird positions. You always think about your glove. It's a clock of your glove. And then in here, and right here. What do you do with it? So you kick it. You kick it. No, see, that's not how you kick it. Not how you kick it. Okay. What part of your foot do you use to kick a soccer? The middle. Where? Point on your point on your foot. Where you're gonna where you're, what part of your foot is gonna hit the ball? No, put, touch it. No, that's what most people think. I think when they first get started, right? So you think that when you're gonna kick the soccer ball, you're gonna kick it like that, right? Mm -hmm. With your toes, or even kind of down like that right you're not gonna do that because number one you'll break your toes eventually and number two like this is a tiny little place to be hitting the ball mm -hmm. and the ball's round and so if you hit a little bit over here the ball's gonna go that way <laughs> if you hit a little bit over here the ball's gonna go that way right you don't want to do that so what you want to do is kick with this part of your foot so what you want to do is take the foot that you're not kicking with and step kind of beside the ball and then this foot, you want to turn sideways and hit with the side of your foot, right? And push it towards Mark. Okay? Get back.
Okay, what'd you think, Cooper? Good. Which was your favorite part? Favorite sport piece? Um, all three of them. All three of them? Did you have fun playing with Daddy? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Did you like coming to the park? Yep. Do you want to come to the park and play more? Yep. Do you want to catch some Pokemon while we're here? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Okay. What do you think? Be off, it's, really it's tiring. It is tiring, but that's good. It's good to be tired. This goes with our yoga. It's a little running around and playing and stuff. Yeah. yeah? Yes. Awesome. Okay, Cooper. I got better at kicking mm -hmm. the ball and I can tell my back. See it? And it's exciting. You got better at kicking the ball and you were really good at hitting the ball and your catching got better. But I kicked it into the goal and oh, you did you? see me. Oh. And it made me very upset. <laughs> and your hitting was really good. Sometimes it's hard when, when your parents aren't watching. You do something cool. Cooper had that this morning. He almost cried. Remember? He did something cool with a bat. And you were like, you didn't see it. And he was about to cry. Remember? Yeah, that wasn't good, was it? Okay, we'll catch him. Back.